Okay, Pete, how many trips to the ER are we going to have to make with this Zero. Renault? Really? Be nice if I got you in the shot. <laughs> back up. Go back. Go back again. I can't get you in the video. Why can't I get you in the video? Hello, I'm Heather from Frugal Renewal. Welcome to our channel. This is where we make over our 60s house with cost-saving, budget-friendly DIY projects and thrifty secondhand finds. We make our house stylish, comfortable for our family of five, and at the same time are responsible with our finances. Hello and welcome to our sunroom. Our sunroom is not being used as a run sunroom. It has been used pretty much as a storage shed for the last year and a half. When we moved in here and we replaced flooring on our main floor, this room was not really touched. So we thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a YouTube channel? Because of COVID, families and friends haven't been able to see our new house. And this way people can see the rentals that we've done and we can tell people how we've done them because we do not just renovate the typical way. <laughs> We're frugal, we're Dutch, we're thrifty, we're cheap. <laughs> we'll edit that. And <laughs> we're going to do flooring, furniture, styling, uh, new window coverings. Uh, it needs a good cleaning. Uh, the flooring in here is carpet. So the original owners who had this place built decided to carpet it. We would prefer not to have carpet. You can tell it's old. It's probably... 20 or 30 years old. It's old, it's stained, um, it's dirty, it's dusty, and uh, we would rather have something easier to clean. So today I picked up some laminate floor that's been previously used and loved. It looks much oranger, orangier, I don't know if that's a word, um, in this light than it's, or in this video than it does in real life. It's so as you can see, we've got the sunroom emptied. Oh, it looks like an exterior, doesn't it? Okay, we'll have to figure out some lighting solution too. There's only one light in this whole place. Lamps would be nice. But there's only one outlet, all by the door. Anyway, we're ready for the next part, which is cutting up and ripping out carpet. Cutting up the carpet. I'm noticing the underside of it is pretty stained. So whether they had pets or a water leak, calling in the reinforcements to do the area around the door. And then our dog Cassie, she's always in for, oh, a little rest and relaxation while everyone else is working. Oh, I can't figure out the angle of this thing. Okay, Pete, how many trips to the ER are we gonna have to make with this Zero. Renault? Really? Be nice if I got you in the shot. <laughs> back up. Go back. Go back again. I can't get you in the video. Why can't I get you in the video? Oh my god. There we are. Okay, ready? Okay, Pete. How many trips to the ER are we going to make during this product? project? Zero. <sighs> or less than ten. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So the under pad, this pretty blue color. Uh, just peeled right off and rolled up easily and it seems that the floor of our sunroom is actually pressure treated decking So we'll get the last piece of blue under padding out of here and then we'll have to get rid of this um, Carpet tack System that goes around the edges probably with a crowbar. So that's next And then I broke it. That happens. Oh, I recommend wearing gloves. I just took the glove off to grab the camera. But to show you, a normal nail from a pocket, um, sorry, from a carpet tack strip is really only maybe a half an inch into the floor. All right, so the crew's been busy. I have teenage boys and a husband who have unloaded 
the back of the van with all of the laminate flooring that my youngest son and I picked up yesterday. We have here some uh, insulation started. This is, in fact, the best laminate floor we've ever worked with. It clicks together super easily. You don't need any tools at all, and it's really thick. And on the back of some of the boards, it says made in Germany. I have no idea what brand it is or anything, but it's very thick, and it has... A lot of variation in the colors, which is what I like. So there's a lot of different browns, including like a dark walnut, and and it looks distressed. And I find it easier to match decor when you're working with sort of a modeled floor, so a floor that has a bunch of different colors in it. So super excited. Got a few rows down. Quite a few more to go. The challenge for this floor is the cement sill because this used to be an exterior door or I guess technically it is because it's a three season sunroom not a four season. Um, the sill is a probably half a centimeter or, or a centimeter higher than the wood floor around it. So we're going to plane this board meaning we're going to take part of the back off to make it thinner and have it sit over the sill flush with the, ex with the wood floor. So I'll show you that when it's done that's going to be probably done in a few more days because um, we don't have a planer and we have to uh, use somebody else's. But when we get that done, I will show it to you. So what does this look like an $85 floor? This is the used German engineered laminate that we picked up and installed without any hand tools. It was completely click and drop. It was great. It looks, we think it looks awesome. It ties in with the already painted brown walls and window frames that we have. Right? Yeah, it's Cassie approved. Yes, it is. So here's the area rug that I bought for the sunroom. It's a jute yeah, uh, rug that I got for $50 and it's a five by eight and it's great and Cassie likes it too. Um, it is used. And I wouldn't have bought a used jute rug because I know how dusty they get. We had one in our previous home in our living room. Um, but they had another area rug on top of it and only had a little bit of the edge showing. So it's actually in really great shape. But it's a little too yellow for the sunroom floor and the furniture that we've got to go in there. So I decided to um, try to spray paint it. So I've looked up uh, different approaches and stencil patterns and ideas. And my plan is, uh, so far I taped off a five inch border going all around it. I'm gonna tape, uh, tape off another line too so that there's um, like an edge, um, a solid color edge. And then I'm going to use a piece of expanded steel. I'm gonna use it as the template for the um, spray paint. And it's going to be, uh, I think it's called Dark Walnut. And hopefully that will add some of the darkness that we need um, to, to go with everything else. And we'll see how it goes. So I finished taping off and protecting the part of the rug that I don't want to have paint on. Okay, so I've laid out the expanded metal. So these are my two samples. I used a piece of wood with the expanded metal and the paint. And I don't like how much color is on that one. And this is the second one I did with a more of a light mist. And that's the look I'm going for. It's more of a distressed, um, some variation in the brown. Okay, so what I was hoping for was like the sample on the wood. What I got <laughs> was more of a mottled mess and I think that's because the fabric is not stretched tight and it's not a hard surface like the wood. So I'm going to get the rest of the tape off and decide if we're going to use this rug <laughs> as is or if uh, we're just going to use the other side. I love the crisp lines that the tape gives. Um, there was one section where some of my paper flipped up in the wind when I was spray painting and I got a little bit of overspray over here. That might just get tucked under the futon so it won't be noticeable. Um, I don't hate it. I know it's definitely darker in some spots than I'd wanted and you really can't see much of the crisscross pattern. In some places you can, it's clear, and in other places you really can't. Um, but hey, this is a temporary solution. This is uh, 
I don't think something we're going to live with forever, but I don't know. Sometimes when you do something and you get used to it, then it's okay too. So uh, I'll let that dry out here and then we'll wash the sunroom floor and, uh, and get that installed. good stick. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and you'll be notified of new content when it's released.